Number 10, Lost Adams Diggings. To find a canyon wall that cries tears of gold you will need to map yourself a route to the Lost Adams Diggings in western New Mexico. It was in the early 1860s when Adams made his trek to the area. Guided along the White River and into the White Mountains, Adams and his crew of miners found gold nuggets that hidden in a corn grinding basin. Although Adams left the mine on the second night, the miners stayed when they were brutally attacked and killed by Apache Indians. Tales say that Adams was never able to find his gold canyon again. Number 9, Apache Indian Treasures. There is an abundance of real lost treasures, some of which belong to the Apache Indians. Rumor has it that after attacking a wagon train the Apache Indians hid their stolen fortune of silver coins and gold dust in a Dutch oven. This oven which contains the lost treasure, is hidden behind rocks at a point on Winchester Mountain in Arizona. Those in search of the treasure claim the point is cursed, but that has not stopped treasure hunters from trying their luck. Number 8, Lost Treasures of Antilla. Those seeking the lost treasures of Antilla, the German fighter wreckage, will need to dive along the north point of Aruba. There is a tale that claims, the Antilla was anchored along the north shore, when authorities rode out to sea and asked for its surrender, while the skipper contemplated his options on shore, he left the ship's seacock open, this sank the ship, instead of surrendering and losing his treasure, the ship exploded and sank, this ghost ship, as the locals call it, remains a tribute to the German soldiers from World War II. Number 7. SS Islander Ress Evasive Gold In a bit of irony, the SS Islander that sank in 1901, was recovered in 2012 without any gold, why is it on the list? Well, the Mars Company, the expedition, crew thinks the gold may be on the seabed as a result of moving the ship. They did find gold dust and pieces of gold on the recovered ship, but that s about it? Mars Company estimates the treasure will be valued at over $250 million. Therefore, they are planning another expedition, you can see part of the ship on the banks of Admiral Island, while the rest is in Seattle. Number 6, Santa Sima Concepcion. Hurricane season in Florida has led to many shipwrecks throughout history, one notable shipwreck that fell prey to the tumultuous southern hurricane season was the shipwreck of Santa Sima Concepcion or El Grande. The record listed 500 people on board, but various reports have identified anywhere between 4 to 190 people who survived, to describe their ordeal. Beyond the crew, the record also lists, 1,800,000 pesos in treasures, 77 chests of pearls and 49 chests of emeralds. There have been numerous attempts to locate the treasure, yet most have proved fruitless, it is believed, the Sir William Phipp found about 25% of the treasure during his 1687 expedition. Number 5, Genghis Khan Isak Khan Less Treasure There are a variety of legends surrounding Lake Isak Khan, from the idea that, Templar knights and Christians buried treasures of the Templar there to lost jewels forming a golden path. Many legends persist about the area, one of the most notable legends is of Commander Genghis, who is supposedly buried with his treasures, some legends have his treasure in the lake, and others admit the location is unknown, reports indicate that his soldiers killed everyone that knew the two mess location, and when they returned from the burial site, they were killed as well. Commander Genghis amassed his fortune by capturing most of Central Asia and China comma in the 13th century of which the booty yielded by his conquests was incalculable. Digs in the 20s failed due to the instability of the political environment, since then, there have been more attempts including expeditions by the Japanese, and a recent attempt by American researchers who believe they have located Genghis Khan's tomb, but there is no treasure to date. Number 4, White City, La Ciudad Blanca. A rumored city of gold has been the fascination of many for some time, Herman Cortes stumbled upon it in 1526, then Cristobal de Pedraza in 1544, 
Archaeologist William Strong noted archaeological mounds near Rio Patica and Rio Concor in 1933, providing more fuel for a growing legend where nobles there ate from plates of gold. As recently as February this year, archaeologists and other researchers from the National Science Foundation and the University of Houston have used advanced technology, such as mapping light detection and light detection and ranging. LIDAR, to map the ancient ruins, the verdict is still out if this area holds treasures of gold. Number 3, Lu Treasure Map The only legendary treasure to have a map, that directs you to 14 tons of gold is the Lu, as mystifying as the code is, it has long been assumed the only tools needed to decode the Lu is a $1 bill, a key and a sound understanding of Masonic symbolism. Published by Carl von Mueller, some speculate the map consists of various mathematical formulas, believed to be in the United States. The legend of the Lou claims the treasure is 14 tons of gold. The gold was brought to the U.S. by the Nazis, in a plan to sabotage the U.S. economy and prevent Americans from entering World War II. After hearing the plan, the Gold Act was instituted to circumvent the Nazis' plan failing to prevent the U.S. from entering the war wasn't he the only failure in Nazis' grand scheme. They also failed to decipher the Lou, and the Nazi loyalist that created had died. Ultimately they were unable to retrieve the treasure and return to Germany. Number 2, Treasure Chest of the Church of Pisco Four soldiers of the Peruvian army, in the mid-1800s, devised a plan to outwit priests, after learning about their treasures. Luke Barrett, Arthur Brown, Jack Carrain, and Diego Alvarez, gained the confidence of the Pisco Church in Peru, and managed to sail away with over 14 tons of gold and other treasures. After killing the priests, unfamiliar with the area, the four drew a map, ditched the loot and headed to Australia, with the hope of eventually returning and recovering their booty. Unfortunately, prior to returning for their treasure, Two were killed and the other two were arrested, only Kyle Rain survived the jail stint. Before he died, he told Charles Howe about the Pisco Church heist, and where the treasure was stashed. When Howe found the treasure, he was not equipped to move the treasure, he left the treasure hoping to return and collect. Out of money, Howe failed to return to collect the treasure, but he had disclosed the location to George Hamilton, who eventually went looking for the treasure but never found it because he couldn't understand the map. Number 1, Yamashita's Treasure at Bukut Bay In Palawan, Philippines, Bukut Bay is an island that on its own should be considered a treasure. Bukut Bay is small, yet boasts a legendary story about Zamoyuki Yamashita's lost treasures, a decorated general for the Japanese army. It is speculated that Yamashita hid treasure in the caves of Bukut Bay in the 1940s. Yamashita obtained his treasures by looting many bordering countries during the 30s until World War II. Yamashita's treasures include loot from Malaysia, India, Thailand, and Burma, which were all shipped to the Philippines prior to their final destination, Japan. Unfortunately for Yamashita, Japan surrendered while he was still in the Philippines. Prior to being captured and hung, Yamashita hid his treasure in 172 different places on the island. He and his crew assumed they would eventually come back for the treasure. Some sources estimate that Yamashita's treasures could be worth billions today. In the 70s, Rogelio Rokes has found part of the treasure. Unfortunately, President Ferdinand Marcos confiscated his findings and the remaining treasure located in that particular tunnel. Rokes is sued and was awarded $22 billion. Although, the Marcos and Rokes's family continue to battle in court, based on the story, there are more caves filled with Yamashita's other treasures, 